Does she really have tattoos? Look, let's let's go off the rip. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. I can't tell you one song that she has. Um, the only friend I know she has is Selena Gomez. And she dated the dude from Kansas City Chiefs. That's about it. That's all I know as far as Taylor Swift goes. Oh, yeah, and the Kanye West thing a long time ago, right? That, that's literally it. That's that's my knowledge of Taylor Swift. So, I saw that she dropped a song like 13 hours ago. My time right now. So, I'm going to react to it. I've never watched anything Taylor Swift, so all of this is going to be new to me. I, I'm pretty sure, I, I guarantee I've heard a full song, but I wasn't conscious of listening to it. But I don't know all the rave of why Taylor Swift is Taylor Swift. Uh, I heard that she has a cult following. Uh, is it similar to like K-pop cult or is it like more Beyonce cult following? Either way, I'm feeling a little antagonistic. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest, I don't care. So if you get mad, you'll bet. We're going to check this music video out and see what's cracking. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, ah. I was supposed to be sent away, but they forgot to come and get me. I was a functioning alcoholic to nobody knew. She in a psych ward? It looks like a psych ward, bro. But she also has cuffs on, so I don't know. All of this to say, I hope you're okay, but you're the reason. And no one here is to blame. But what about your quiet treason? And for a Does she really have tattoos? That'd be fire. I don't think I heard of her having tattoos, but yeah, that'd be gangster. What? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I didn't catch. Uh, I was so focused on tattoos and her wiping her face. All I saw was, uh, all I heard was, I want to kill her. What? Hello? What I miss? Hello? Posty, come on now. I'll listen to anything with Posty in it. Come on, this is valid now. This it wasn't valid with Taylor Swift. It was valid with Posty. I didn't look. I didn't read the title. I just saw Taylor Swift, and that's all I saw. Posty, I love Posty. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so what I know, I guess, also about 
Taylor Swift, she does like a lot of love songs or love songs. Um, I guess cater. I guess she does like a lot of relationship catering songs, like breakup, makeup kind of situation. That's what I'm getting at. But I heard that she's also a little cuckoo. So. I know a lot of little girls follow her and all that kind of stuff, but constantly saying in your songs that you're gonna kill somebody and kill her, kill him, I don't, I don't condone with that. I'm, I, I work a lot with kids and um, seeing that she's so heavily influential, being that you're gonna make a song talking about you're gonna kill somebody just cause a love story is kind of wild. And then also, I. Look, this is just me looking from the outside in. I couldn't deal with my girl passionately looking at a, another man's eyes and touching their face and in a music video. Hey, yo, I'd be like, we calling it off. I don't care what you talking about. get saved from like the crazy place because look we started in the crazy place right like way back here she was she was in a hanging bed situation and they gave her medication so i'm guessing she's going through a psychotic situation you know what i mean and obviously the scientists saved her whatever and they have this weird relationship going on uh I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. guessing to be crazy in love so honest opinions uh so i rate everything from lyrics vibe aesthetic of the music video and everything that encompasses it i thought it was good i thought it was good honestly um i just didn't really first reaction obviously not dissecting it fully just initially seeing everything i didn't really get the Full gist of it. I think I have to watch it like a couple more times to be able to understand the full premise. Obviously, it's like a love story, but uh, <laughs> just looking at the small nuances of every kind of scene that's going on uh, and putting everything together and making sure I understand what the lyrics are saying um, and not just vibing to the music because I know people that just vibe to the music and don't even know what's being said. 
they'd be saying some crazy stuff and you'd be like, yeah, kill somebody. What? <laughs> um, but overall, aesthetic wise, uh, the music video is pretty phenomenal. I like the music video. Uh, I like the black and white texture of the music video. It reminds me of like, I guess an old school uh, kind of thing, like back in the seventies or something. Or later. <laughs> but there's like, there's just like, uh, I just have to look at the lyrics, but they don't have the, the captions up. So I wasn't able to read exactly lyric for lyric what was being said uh so possibly in the future i'll go ahead and relook at those lyrics when she has them up or whatever but scene for scene was pretty nice i actually liked how everything looked this this passionate scene when they're when they're like this i was like nah <laughs> as a soon-to-be husband i'm like nah but anyways um yeah, everything else was pretty cool. I probably have to rate it like a I'll give it a seven point five. That's just simply because I didn't fully get the gist of everything, but everything else I thought was pretty solid. So if you got this far, um this is because of the music video we just watched. And because I stumbled upon this and the recommendations on YouTube as far as the Easter eggs, I wanted to look at the Easter eggs because I'm actually curious as far as like the whole gist of the music video. So I don't know if someone's going to be given dialogue explanations. I mean, it says explained. So if you don't know, we're about to figure it out together. So the Fortnite music video is here, and wow, gotta say we have a lot more revealed to us about the Torture Poets department, as if a double album containing 31 tracks last night wasn't enough already, well- 31? Listen, I'm a conspiracy theorist, bruh. Let's just say that. We'll be breaking down everything you need to know about Taylor Swift's first music video in a while, and the first one for her new album, including easter eggs, references, and also just general information. If you enjoy videos like this, I'd encourage you to subscribe and stay tuned for more as we cover all things to- Hey, subscribe to my man. I don't know who he is, but subscribe to him. Let, let's figure out what's his name. So, I, uh, Taylor... What is that? Taylor Swift Hockey Bro. That is a wild name, but I, I guess he's a Swifty who've done this channel especially easter eggs but without further ado let's get right into things i'll say first off this music video isn't exactly the most easter egg heavy or obvious but i think that's probably good see so I'm, i wasn't wrong to be like i don't really know what's you know what i'm saying with the point not the point but there wasn't really too much giving in the music video thing for taylor the original music she is promoting actually does need to have an original story behind it and not just be a vehicle for easter eggs I was supposed to be sent away. however there are still some easter eggs and references and the first one that caught my attention was before this video even started i know a lot of you all were complaining about having to count down after the set time of 8 p.m eastern but I want you to note that this music video actually started at 8.02 p.m., two minutes after 8 p.m. Eastern Time, of course. The video is also four minutes and nine seconds long, which obviously adds up to Taylor's favorite number, 13. 13, 31. All the dots are connecting. Now let's talk about this first scene. There's the garter on her leg, which relates to the garter she wears for her outfit during Midnight's in the Eras Tour. For all you tortured poets, Eras Tour Part 2 people, there's something I'd guess. Also, the clock necklace thing appears to be very similar to the thing she wore at the Grammys, and we all know how time is an important aspect of this album, 2am and 2pm and all. 
Finally, interesting to note the pins in her hair. A bit hard to count, but I think that's 13. Gotta say her wedding dress is also something that I love about this scene, and it goes back to her white Grammys dress. Body noticed my new now, when we zoom out and go see the entire room, we realize, well, gravity isn't working too well here, and we have a bathtub on the ceiling. I actually don't think that's a huge look what you made me do, Easter egg. That bathtub is black. I guess you could feed the delusional rep TV class there, but the door opens and we have this man walked in, all dressed in full medical attire, handing her some pills. Now, this is a direct reference to the lyrics of this song. It's the year 2040, and B. I'm still getting everything. I don't even feel you. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just diving right in between this. move on drug, but I want people to notice the numbers on this bottle. All this to say. Yep, 121389. That's Taylor's birthday in our date form, and there's also today's date of April 19th, 2024. I was about to say something. Or, gotta love the little finds like this, and that's why you watch videos like this, right? I hope you're okay, but the drug is supposed to make her forget him, and she takes the pill and goes to the mirror, revealing her tattoos. There, we or actually, as we would find out, Post Malone's tattoos, and I mean, this scene was actually insane. Just imagine if she had hidden the Post Malone reveal and shocked us. I didn't even realize that. I, I did realize that the, I was just like, probably subconsciously, I realized it. But I didn't realize it consciously. Um, Post Malone's tattoos on her face. So all with that. I wanna kill her. She then walks over to her work, and I guess that's why she took the forget him pill. So she could work, and this outfit was one kind of Hunger games -y, but also very 1830s and kind of like My Tears or Cachet era's tour dress. Remember, there is a song called I Hate It Here from the anthology that references the 1830s. I'd say the 1830s. Love this aesthetic though, and Taylor gets to work on the typewriter. And I really want people to notice this typo in the word ruining. ruining my life. Like, why is there a blank space? Well, she does have a song called Blank Space, I guess, but it's an interesting typo right here. I will say throughout the scene, they are facing each other and emitting this weird airy stuff from their typewriters. And well, they are contrasting colors. I'm not exactly sure what is going on here, but I think it's to symbolize the duality of roles they have within this song. also love these people dressed in black incognito mode, showing you how the torture post department is indeed a dystopian place. We then head to this very eternal sunshine of a spotless mind scene. And I actually haven't seen that movie, but it kind of gave that. So I guess that's like them having themselves on each other, or she has them on her mind all the time or only dog i'm still lost and i feel like the dude lost too he's just like i don't know what this is <laughs> that vibe and we can see taylor is reading the story of us i never heard silence quite this loud love speak now references making their way into torture poets speak now is the best album by the way and we zoom out to see the sheets of paper make her face, which is related to the side face she has in style. Okay. We then have some exceptional on-screen chemistry from Post and Taylor, a uh, post lore, I guess. And the paper begins to swirl around before we go to this tortured scene for the torture poet's department. I wanna kill him. Now when we I'm gonna call it MK Ultra. You know what I'm saying? The people that know know. Come on now. 
get to this scene, I can't help but look at these buttons behind her and go back to the I can see you music video buttons. However, I don't think there is a specific meaning to them. There is, however, a Yeah, those don't look like they correlate. Like, where are the buttons? Back to the I can see you music video eh. buttons. However, I don't think there is a specific meaning to them. There is, however, a very easy to spot Black Dog that I think everyone knows is a reference to the track in this album, The Black Dog. The Black Dog. Ethan Hawke then gets into the scene and is one of the scientists, and that's a great nod to the Dead Poet Society, which I think definitely gave some inspiration for this album. And there's also Josh Charles, who's from the Dead Poet Society as well. Now they do something to Taylor that gives me Stranger Things types of vibes, but Post Malone isn't the Dead Poet. That was a long time ago, I believe. Isn't that movie like super? I don't want to say it, but hold on. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking about a different movie. Malone comes to her rescue here and we go to the telephone scene, which I think is very odd. Host is in the booth calling and she is sitting on top, well, just in the rain, kind of cardigan-like vibes with how she's soaked in that outfit. But then we see her destroy the files and stuff and flash back to the scene where now Post comes out of the telephone booth, grabs her hand, and ends with a touch. But wait, there's one more Easter egg as Taylor has a Tortured Poets Department merch bracelet attached. Overall, not the biggest pure easter egg music video, we didn't get any references to when Rep TV would happen, at least I don't think so, but it's still really interesting and just a great music video to talk about overall. I really liked what Taylor did here and I really hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Taylor Swift is truly giving us so much right now. What is next guys? I don't even know, but I hope this video helped you break down the Fortnite featuring Post Malone music video further. Special thanks to Isabel A for helping me find some Easter eggs as well. But we have so, so much more to cover for the Torture Post Department and I hope you all are enjoying the ride. Hey. That's all I had, bro. And I don't even feel like he had much to give as well as, I mean, it was just like small nuance kind of things that probably if I actually listened to her music, I would have been able to tell anybody, but I thought it was all right. I thought it was cool. Hopefully you guys got more out of it now that we uh, kind of doubled back and then went through piece by piece as uh, my guy did his thing, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys enjoyed that content, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.